What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft, my favorite format on planet Earth. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking that Oko is where we want to be. Um, I think it's Oko. We also have a... Uh, <laughs> We have a deck from Super Fritz, five color planeswalkers, all day, er day. And I'm gonna start with this. We just did a five color planeswalker stipulation. I don't know if I want to jump right into another one, but Oko is a good one to start with. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Dak is great, but I don't think Dak is Oko. Oko. It also the, the good thing about Oko is that you can play all the elves. On turn one, Elvish Mystic, Elvish uh, Land of War Elves, Fintorn Elves. You can play all of them on turn one and still play a deck on turn two. You know what? I kind of like Golos here. Tuned into you picking Oko. I think I'll stay for a bit. Yeah, we're going to take this Golos. And this has to be the Super Fritz five color Planeswalkers. Five Walker Planeswalker Golos. That's what we're doing. We're living the Super Fritz dream. It's very similar to the last deck, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so here we're probably taking Azoria Signet, Cultivate, or Celestia Signet. It's probably one of the Signets. I kind of want to lean toward the green Signet because I do want help with our green sources. Actually, Marsh Flats just might be so much better. Oh, God. The biggest, the biggest question is, do you get the Fixing Land or the Signet? The Signet's two colors. Helps you ramp. The Marsh Flats is, could be so versatile in the future. I'm saying this because 10 hours ago, I just came, I just came back. I came back. I didn't, it wasn't, I was gone. And now I'm back again. Alright, I'm also going to get rid of my mana counts here. So we can start over. You think it's Flats? Alright, I'll take Flats. Now we get Windswept Heath. Okay. All right. So Flats is one white and one black. Windswept Heath is a green and a white. All right. Second time around is going to be better. I think we do need more two mana uh, removal. Like if we see Heartless Act or what have you, I think we just take something like that. Um, we also need more Planeswalkers as well. I'm going to take a Temple Garden. Yeah, seems fine. We are very heavy on white and green already. And that also makes Marsh Flats a green source. So, just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Eh, Damnation's actually pretty sweet. I could see taking a Damnation here. Yeah, let's take Damnation. I'm hoping he does well with it, but let's be honest. We all know I'm just here for the memes. It's very true. First time I see Super Fritz type anything in caps lock. <laughs> oh, Scrubland. I mean, we're very Abzan centric right now, but we already have a Golos or uh, an Oko rather. Yeah, I'm not gonna pass a dual land that gets that's basically three colors with windswept teeth. So we got four white sources, two black sources, and Marsh Flats and Scrubland, and Heath, I guess actually. So that's three black sources now. Uh. I don't see many planeswalkers here. Do you guys? Is it just me? I think Huntmaster is solid. Huntmaster keeps us alive. We could also not play the um What's it called? What's the other guy? You guys know what I'm saying. The damnation. Um I kind of like Looter here. It just gets us through our things. I guess Walker does have multiple lines. Yeah, it has multiple multiple loyalty abilities. I think actually Walking Ballista is a little more versatile for us. I'll take the Walking Ballista. Okay. 
Uh, swords to plowshares is for sure the kind of removal we want, especially since we have so many white sources. Um, I'm kind of tempted to mana tie them, to be honest with you. Hero of Bladehold is a is a banger. We could also Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is interesting because it refills our hand, and if we get a Narset or a Leovold, eh, we'll take Relic Order. Disenchant is actually probably main deckable. Already passed Narset. That's what you think. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> Uh, no, you're you're right. Dang it. Ooh, Taiga is nice because we have Windswept Heath already. I'm really kind of tempted to take Omnath, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Omnath can come back. I really do. It, I don't think it came back last time, but I think it might come back this time. But I think we have to take Taiga here. Plus one green. Plus one red. Four green. One red. We're doing it. Oh, I like a Signet here. Skull clamp wheeling makes total sense though. That wheels skull clamp wheels pretty pretty frequently, in all fairness. I kind of like Marari's Wake here. I think we're taking the signet and hoping like Marari's Wake or Time Warp wheels. Sacred Foundry. Oh, boy. Time Warp Wheel. I don't think... You might be right. I don't think it's going to happen. Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Also great. Prismatic Vista. Really sweet. Prismatic Vista, my only problem is that when you draft a deck like this, sometimes you just don't have enough basics. Orzhov's Signet seems also great. Sacred Foundry gives us one, two, three more red sources... And one more white source. Yeah, we're going to take Foundry. Uh, Heartless Act is exactly the kind of card we were talking about, but Fraley's is pretty good, too. Take Elsmith, the Planeswalker. Um, I, so here's the thing. I don't think we're going to have a problem getting Planeswalkers because they, they table quite frequently. I just don't want to have to die. I also think this should be Vivian Reed. I think I think Freely's is worse than Vivian Reed. Plateau. All right, we're gonna plateau. Oh, Bayou. Oh yeah, we're not even passing. Okay, hold on. Plateau is. Wait, wait. I know we have one, two, three, four, six. We have six white sources, and we had a little more red, so we're at four red. We're also taking Bayou here, which makes our black sources go up to just one, I guess. Uh, four and five. Our mana's looking good. Atari's, though. <laughs> I think Scarab God is fantastic. Uh, I think it's one of the... It's one of the better threats that is not... A, a cube like a vintage level threat if that makes sense
Sonny D, it'll burn your throat. You know what this deck screams to me? It needs a Yorion. Does it? Does it though? Celestial Colonnade. Interesting. Glory Bringer is pretty sweet. And we do have a significant amount of red right now. We have Marsh Flats, one, two, three, four, five red sources. I it's 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 really hard to keep up with the lands because once you start getting things like a taiga, now it turns, you know, windswept teeth into a red source as well. So it's like, oh no. I think it's actually Kaya. Kaya is really sick. We don't have any blue fixing, but What can you do? Oh, the Omnath came back. That's exciting. That's real exciting. I like that a lot, actually. I see I don't think two cards just interacting with each other is a combo I, I think we're using the term combo pretty loosely here Marari's wake came back okay okay I like that eh, chain lightning is definitely playable it's just a removal spell let's take a chain lightning I would never pass that Liliana for a two color land dragon lord of Tarka actually seems great for this deck uh, Linvala is actually pretty sweet, and we have a ton of white mana for it, so I'm okay with that. I think we're going to board Damnation out. It's double black, and our black isn't the best right now. We'll take a Wildfire. Maybe we can make Wildfire work at some... So we're in pack three already? Oof. I mean, Primeval Titan is, is pretty nice. If a Johnny comes back, that would be sweet. Riftwing Cloudscape would be sweet. We're definitely taking Primeval Titan. We need to we need to be clear about what we want for this deck. <laughs> Breeding Pool, Tropical Island, Hollowed Fountain, or Tundra are priorities right now. Steam Vents is pretty good. So is Wooded Foothills, though. But Wooded Foothills does not get us a blue, unfortunately. Um, whereas Steam Vents... No, I guess Steam Vents doesn't get us a blue, but it is a blue. And it turns on any future... Yeah, Steam Vents seems correct. We have Oko and Scarab God, so if we hit any um, fetch land that gets a red or a blue, we're in pretty pretty good shape there. Pack is not fantastic. Night of Autumn's good. So Steam Vents adds another red, so six. And our first blue source. Um Yeah, Night of Autumn seems great. We also have Disenchant. I want a League of Old. Spire Bluff and Dark Slick. Not the lands we're looking for. Narset seems pretty good though, especially when we have Dragon Lord of Tarka. Yeah, I'll take Narset. It's also or Nahiri, not Narset. <laughs> Gruel Signet. Oh yes, we're Gruel Signeting for sure. Do you like a Raging Ravine? No Planeswalkers here. How many Planeswalkers got in the deck? One, two, three. We only have three Planeswalkers so far, but we do have a Golos. That's got to count for something. 
Right now, as far as removal, we have Heartless Axe, Swords, Chain Lightning. I think we just want Raging Ravine. Casualties is awesome, but Double Black is interesting. Stomping Ground. Of course, we hit a Stomping Ground the very next pack. Interesting. So Raging Ravine is now six and seven red. We have a lot of red sources. Why couldn't you be a blue? I do kind of like Assassin's Trophy here. I think that's actually pretty... It's It's got to be better than the... Corsair of Crufix actually seems fine here. Um, I think we're taking the Gideon, though. Oh, the Ajani did come back. That's pretty sweet. Flame Tongue Kavu is not terrible. I think I would main deck Flame Tongue over Linvala here. <laughs> Do we have anything that can like cheat Progenus into play other than Golos? Not really. Um, if we have Marari's Wake, we can actually just cast this with five mana. That's pretty hilarious. I think we're just taking Whisperwood. Like, that's actually a fine threat. Um, same thing with Woe Strider. Take Frostodon, sure. All right, so our blue fixing is absolutely atrocious. We only have three blue cards, though, and we can probably add, like, I don't know, three islands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. But our 10 lands have six white sources, four black sources, seven red, and six green. So we also have Golgari Signet and Gruel Signet, which are both green. So it's kind of like eight green, five black. Yeah, I'd take a Mizzy Mortars for sure. And eight red. I imagine this is correct. We'll find out once we check all the landy boys. Put them all in here. Sort by converted. Okay, so we're looking at white sources. Marsh flats, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is correct. Blue sources, one. Burr, 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 burr. We can do that. We can make it happen. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five with signet. Okay, I like it. Red, we have like Marsh Flats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got it. I don't think we're cutting Heartless Act. I think Heartless Act is a necessary evil. I think it's also fine. Um, red, we have eight. Green, we have one. I, I, I can see cutting Low Strider for sure, though. Uh, green, we have one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is 35 with 10 lands. We need two cuts. Mana Tithe can go. That's an easy cut. Probably Wheel of Fortune, actually. I really don't want them to draw. We have no real way to take advantage of it. So I think this is actually pretty good. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's get clipping. Having the most green, red, and white is really nice because that is the, those are the lands we have the most of. Um, we only have three blue cards, so I'm definitely just going to add three blue. One black. So we get seven lands. Three, four, five, six. I think one, 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 two, three. Maybe it's two, two. I really want to be able to cast Oko, Omnath, and Scarab God. But I think three is probably okay. We only have three blue cards. God, if I had one blue fetch land, this deck would be so much better because it would literally add, um, like, we could go get Island or we can go get Steam Vents with it. So this turns it up to eight white. 
uh, three blue, six black, nine and nine. So it'd be eight, three, six, nine, nine. Hmm. I actually think this looks okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, this could be good. I mean, I might want to cut the disenchant because we do have Assassin's Trophy and Knight and Nahiri. And we can probably bring in Mizium Mortars instead because Mizium Mortars is also like a Wrath if we need it to be. All right. Let's save this. We'll do a little Clipperino. We don't have a ton of Planeswalkers, to be fair, but it's really hard to balance the land and the Planeswalkers. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Only five Planeswalkers. I think that's okay. Do we really need six black? No, but I want to have a single swamp in order to search it with, you know, if we if we have to if we have to search it for something. <clears throat> Plus, like, all the other black sources aren't solely black, right? So if I use Marsh Flats to get a Taiga, that's not going to happen. If I use the Temple Garden, or if I use Windswept to get a Taiga, like, they're not black sources at that point, right? So, like, the only dedicated black sources that don't actually act as other lands is literally Swamp. So I think it's actually fine. Plus, again, I want to have Kaya early. I want to be able to activate Scarab God potentially multiple times a turn, so. I mean, Golgari Signet is not solely black, it's green. It's a green source as well, so. I mean, curves, signif the curves frequently start at two in Vintage Cube. I mean, I, I think it's a... I don't, I don't think, like... Not every deck is super busted turn one play, you know? <laughs> I'm sure everyone in the YouTube comments will yell at you for stealing my money. Well, the thing is, we just did a five-color Planeswalker, so we're still doing five-color. We're still doing Golos, which is what you initially wanted. And we have a, a higher... I think we have a higher than average number of Planeswalkers for this... For a Vintage Cube draft, so... Golos is what I... You do have an unhealthy fixation with Golos, but that's okay. That's okay. I love you anyway. I, I I won't kink shame you. Okay, so we're two colors away from Omnath, guys. I don't know how better that. This is probably the best hand we can ask for, right? I think we have to mull this hand. Yeah. Okay. You know what? This is probably fine. We have three colors instead of two. We have a two drop and we can ship Dragon Lord of Tarka. On the bright side, we both went to six, so that's okay. See, look, no turn one play. <clears throat> I think it's still it's it's still common, you know, to have like broken like turn one, this, 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 but it's also it's not super frequent either, if that makes sense. Wow, that's good. Um yeah, nah, I don't like it. Definitely glad we can keep that first hand. Next time, step five colors without fixing so we can focus more on the walkers than the lands. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, this is a pretty slow start. Three drop? No three drop. Okay, so they get a free turn here. We get to a Johnny Vengeant followed by either Mirari's Wake or Golos. And I think a red-black deck might have a hard time dealing with a Mirari's Wake. So, fingers crossed. Don't play a Chandra. That's what I don't want to see. Okay. Could be bad or it could be good. Johnny's actually not that exciting right now because we either kill Gonti and then Johnny dies or we keep the Phyrexian Rager tapped down and then they can activate Lava Claw Reaches and Gonti dies. So... 
Guys, what do you think the odds are of them um, hitting Oko? Do you think it's 100% or 50, 50% or maybe less? Who knows? I think killing Gonti is... Actually, it takes their turn if we actually... But then this stays on board, so... Do we want to time walk them or legit just take a Gonti off the board? I mean, four mana, like, this is just literally Warleader's Helix. That gains you five life instead of three. Gain five, deal three. Is that exciting? Not really. Is that okay? Maybe. So, interesting thing is if we play Marari's Wake next turn, the turn we play Gonti, we should have 12 mana. So we could actually um, tap everything, use 5 of it, and then activate Gonti on the same turn. No, I'm going to make this not untap. Oh, I went. I meant to do the Rager. Damn it. <laughs> God, there was so many. Oh, man. I had decision anxiety. That was worse. Because now they don't have to activate anything. They still get their turn and they get to kill. <sighs> I was so distracted by all the things. There are three relevant three relevant cards I wanted to mess with. And, yeah, this was very... This is just worse than killing Gonti. <sighs> Okay, so we have red, green, black, white. I think we want to play... We're definitely playing Mirari's Wake here, right? So we take four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this could be fine. Because next time we get to Golos and activate Golos, which is pretty sweet. I'm just assuming the black red deck doesn't have a way to deal with Mirari's Wake. Super excited for Golos to flip three lands. Buddy, you and me both. Feed this swarm is not in the vintage cube, but it is in my vintage cube. bad beat well you know i mean it would be a bad beat if it didn't happen twice a draft yep let's mulligan again seems fine uh one two three we're just gonna ship island here or a <laughs> mountain rather more frequently it's a normal beat I have to have this one card in my hand on the next turn in order to do the one thing I want to do. You won't have that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. Yep, you got it. I, too, have a Signet. <coughs> it's actually pretty good, because next turn we have Scarabout or Whisperwood Elemental. Presuming they don't play, what's the worst thing they can play here? I don't know. I'm sure they'll kill it, though. Or they'll just play Avalanche Riders and kill one of my lands. Eh, 
Okay. This time they got Oko. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, to be fair, the, the misplay with a Johnny did not help, but also I don't think it would have made a huge difference. They would have just been able to play Omnath, play a land gain four, which would not relevant, but um, we would have been up five life, but we're still drawing relatively dead after they racked us, return our whole hand, so... Don't say the worst thing, because then it's going to happen. You keep jinxing it. Listen, just because I can see the future doesn't mean I can affect the future. Coligon's command. Sure. That's very good. I guess it's actually a one for two, because that was free. But now they're going to Heartless Act my Pack Rat. Okay. All right, this is not terrible. Yep, definitely taking two here. <laughs> One of the walkers is on the board. Oh, yeah. You know it. I'm pretty sure we Assassin's Trophy Pack Rat. I'm also pretty sure we attack first. Uh, black and a green, and we'll trophy this idiot. Do 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 do. And we'll play this. Get a freebie. Oh my God! Apparently, we're just hitting planeswalkers with uh with with, with whisper will elemental. That's good. That's good. Oh boy, that's a good one. Oh, it's ours. <laughs> that's our primeval titan, so that's good. That's nice. Jolly good. Yeah. That's cool. Gandhi's a cool card. Okay. Well... One, two, three, four. Omnath. Land. Oh, we're not attacking. Chain Lightning. Sure. To be fair, Gonti is a cool card. It's true. They put things like Rager, I'm just like, fantastic, do that. All right. Oh, boy. Six mana, Grave Titan? It's got to be Grave Titan. Walking for three? That's surprisingly unimpressive. I'm okay with that. Oh. Oh, my. And we're definitely blocking with both of these guys. There's a lot of mana they have. I mean, they can pick which one they want to die, so. <clears throat> sure. 
I mean, this guy being in the graveyard is good because we have Scarab God. That's why we're doing that, so. Oh, I see. You're going to you're gonna kill it anyway. I understand. Don't be a land. Nahiri. Enchantment, tapped artifact, or tapped creature. Pretty sure we just Scarab got here. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. So if they draw one more land, they can put three counters on this guy. Oh boy. But Scarab God should be pretty immune to most things. Our hand is pretty Rakdos return proof. If you love Thief of Sanity and Golos, I think you just like mechanics that show you three cards and you get to potentially play those cards. Okay, that's interesting. Are you going to crack it right now? Interesting. Well, I can't cast any of these cards, but I do get a Golos back. I can Golos with my Scarab God. That's fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven mana to work with. That's a good amount. <clears throat> yep, kill him a guy. Seems legit. I also think since it's their turn, I think we're going to have to discard Scarab God, which is pretty unfortunate. Yeah, that's not great. I'm going to block with this guy because, yeah, <clears throat> triggers go on the stack, their trigger followed by our trigger, ours goes first, Scarab God goes into the hand, and then we discard our fucking hand. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> the amount of, like, God... One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, Nahiri's gonna Nahiri's gonna do it. Yeah, we just have to get rid of Walking Ballista too because it's just really problematic. <coughs> It's just a trade, sure. Yeah. They have the removal spell for Scarab God on the exact turn that they... Yeah. 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 We're just going to exile this guy. Can they even activate this? They can't even activate this guy. It's literally just a 4-5? That's so weird. Man, there are 11 cards. Where's Wheel of Fortune when you need it? <clears throat> do, 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 do. It is just a thick-ass boy. Mark, when you, when you say thick like that, you're supposed to use two Cs. Oh, Agadim's Awakening. Walking Ballista. What the shit? <laughs> uh, it's, it's weird to... Target the walking ballista, I guess. Is, I don't know what that did, but... Now they can just make infinite rats. When do you get the good variants? I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I've been waiting my whole life for good variants. <clears throat> I guess I get to play magic for a living, but really... Is that enough? I don't know. Okay. You got it. Be sure to check out my one black source, <clears throat> please. Oh, you're taking my one green source. Got it. Got it.
So they're both coming at Nahiri. Sure. Oh, yeah. Top deck, say it ain't. My opponent actually has better use of my cards than I do. They used uh, Primeval Titan better than we did, uh, which means they used it I am dead inside. The Yorion jokes kind of want to make me kill myself at this point. <clears throat> Also, if even I mean, like, joke aside, even if we did flip this, it wouldn't come back to the end of our turn. They would just attack it. Like, <sighs> heartless act. Cool. Normal beat. <laughs> oh. Exterminator, no worries, man. No worries. It's just, uh, it's at a point where it's like, I'm just not. <sighs> what was the first card they got with our, with our Gonti? Omnath? <clears throat> yeah, seems good. Yeah, it's just like when they're casting our cards more than we are, it's kind of like, not fun. They have like 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 a scarab god like the, the the ways to to exile a scarab god in black red a two color deck are so fucking low that they literally have to have memory jar and they have to make us they have to kill it so it comes back and then we discard it to the memory jar because any other onboard removal is just not gonna do it in a two color deck like I'm, I'm like literally thinking about it I'm like I can't think of a single a single black or red card that deals with a scarab god on board permanently <clears throat> like that sees play obviously like a relic of progenitus or something right like but is Vraska's contempt still in the cube I have not seen a Vraska's contempt <coughs> Wow, this is a fucking this is a wild board right here. Land? No. Just a card we can't cast. And Well, I mean my point my point was more like Relic of Progenitus, not a super played card. You know, like that's not a card I would consider because it's not commonly played. Like again, I, I really I'm looking forward to the people commenting like you, you if you're gonna, if you don't want good color screw you shouldn't play, you know five colors. But that's not the point. The point is that like we have literal fucking seventeen lands in the deck and two signets and we so nineteen sources of mana, and we've missed three land drops. Three land drops. No matter how many colors you're fucking playing, you should be able to not miss three land drops. But you know, here we are. So. <clears throat> How good would Kaya be on this board with like Bird of Paradise, Elvish Mystic, Lanowar Visionary, Lanowar Elves, rather? It's just so it's just so criminally cringe. Like it's just at a certain point, like <clears throat> I don't I, I don't understand it. I feel like I repeat myself a lot too. <laughs> like I say, at a certain point, I don't understand it a lot, and it's <clears throat> it's true. I, I don't. I'm at that point. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we can play Huntmaster, we can play a Johnny, and we can play Flame Tongue Kavu. Ugh, God. Yeah, right. Like, I mean, I think our mana base is great. Like, I think our mana base is actually surprisingly good. We have, like, in, like, again, like, if you look at a normal mana base for a two color deck, your mana base is eight, nine. Because you have two colors. So you play 17 lands, 8 of one, 9 of the other. We have 8 white sources, 9 green sources, 9 red sources, 6 black, and 3 blue. So I'm kind of like expecting to not get blue all the time, which is fine. But like, you know, to just miss land drops, it's like, 
but why? Do I want to get one of these off the board? Three, four, five, six, seven. They're just going to Sylvan Library into Avenger of Zendikar, I'm sure. So. Huh. I think it's either Flame Tongue, kill a guy, put a body on the board, or Hunt Master. But the thing is, we know they're going to play something, and we want to play something too. So I'm just going to play Flame Tongue to at least get one of their, their creatures off the board. My concern is, like, I don't see Huntmaster flipping any time in the near future. Unless we decline to play something, and I really don't want to do that. So I think on board, having a 4-2 that kills one of their mana dorks is better than having two 2-2s two -twos that doesn't actually punish them in any way, so. Do you think there's a distinct difference between a shuffle by the AI versus a hand? It's hard to say because unless the... Yeah, there it is. Okay. I said Avenger of Zendikar. What I meant was Karn Liberated. This is actually... We get to kill it with a Johnny, though. Unfortunately, we did not hit another land. So it's turn seven. We missed four land drops. If we hit another land, we could have actually <clears throat> played a Johnny and Path the Elf so that they don't, they don't get to just kill a Johnny straight up. But they do. Um, the thing about, the thing about AI shuffling is that like, unless it knows the difference between a land and a spell, like they should all be distributed equally, right? Like, unless there's, there's, unless one of them is weighted. <clears throat> also, they're at 20 and we have no pressure. They should definitely be paying life to boot cards in their hand. They should be like eight life right now. Okay. Sure. So now they're going to attack us for two, kill our gruel signet, which takes away our green source. At this point, it happens so often with them. I believe the AI shuffler is bad. No way it would happen this often. I don't. Yeah, but it, my my thing is, I don't understand how other streamers and and professional magic players don't have it happen to them. Like I don't understand what they're doing differently. Where like I miss four land drops in a row. <clears throat> I, I don't know. Wait, what? They killed their own mystic just to flip this? And they didn't kill my... Alright. Sure. <clears throat> kill this guy now, so... I mean, they're just going to kill our Gruul Signet now, but at least they don't get to flip it with Garrick. Yeah, sure. You got it. Garrick's pretty frightening here. Fucking Christ! Nine fucking turns, dude! Six lands! Are you serious? <laughs> Black Source would be great. We can exile this, kill Garrick, right? green source would be great we can play hunt master like any land would be great we can play gideon now we just get to do fucking nothing it's unreal we've missed six land drops <sighs> thank you i mean the problem is i don't want them to, to sacrifice their wolf to get like avenger of zendikar so i'm literally just oh <laughs> clint Buster, what up my dude <laughs> Welcome back, man. Long time no see. I even said your name. I was so excited. Oh, wow. Temple Garden. Blessed. Hashtag blessed. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> what time is it with you? Uh, Currently 1.22 in the morning. Not super late, but not super early either. So, what can you do? I 
So I think in person shuffling depends on the person. Some people skimp and just do like one or two quick ones, whereas some people want to do the full pile. Yeah, that's true. But the thing is like the deck is never coming or it's rarely coming from a, a, a unrandomized position, right? Like if I finish a match, I scoop all my cards together. I do a couple quick shuffles. Uh, I go to my next round and then at the beginning of the next round, I'll do a lot more shuffles. Like the deck isn't coming from an organized position. It's already pre-shuffled basically. <clears throat> And, like, even if it's not, like, you still don't know what you're drawing, right? Like, so, I don't know. I think I'm just taking three here. On the off chance they don't play something, they're definitely sacking this wolf to make a... To, to find some, some... Yeah, some fucking banana card that's gonna murder us. Probably... Woodfall Primus or Avenger of Zendikar. Those are my guesses. Sun Titan's pretty good. Get back Sylvan Library, I guess. Thoughts on the Pokemon openings? How would you feel if Magic turns into the new Twitch meta? What does that mean? Pokemon openings. What is that exactly? Someone fill me in. Okay. All right. People have been doing card unboxings on Twitch. Oh, interesting. So it's like unboxings. It's like YouTube unboxings on Twitch. So the thing is, like, I've done unboxings on Twitch before, but I was literally recording the YouTube content and just streaming it. You know what I mean? That's weird. So I could actually flip this deal two to Gary, which I actually think is probably better than just playing Gideon. Ugh. Don't love it, but we're here for it. So shoot you and probably Sunny T because then if they attack, we can block with Ravager. So, <clears throat> but getting rid of the Garrick is is definitely. Uh, I'd watch you open a movement box of Miss Vintage Ma Vintage Masters is not a real set, buddy. That is a Magic Online exclusive. So I I think I think I would probably get the most viewers ever if I opened a box of Vintage Masters because. You know, fictional sets. Oh, good. Oh, good. So, what are you voting for this guy? I'll vote for it, too. Sounds good. So, we take nine. Ten. Now, we're going to block one. We go to three. Okay. What do they get back? Pride Mage? Probably. It's better than the other three. <clears throat> if someone wants to send me a box of Legends, I will 100% open it on stream. YouTube commenters, he's being mean to me and stealing my money. Get him. <laughs> Damn. He's right. All right. Block here. So I was really looking forward to playing Marari's Wake here and having my... Oh, look, a Bayou. Well, fashion late to the party, Bayou. Fashion late to the party. It's only just turn 12. We've only missed six land drops. That's okay. Six is not 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 a lot. We will go to the next game against this green white deck that does not look super good, but it doesn't matter how good it looks. We're gonna bring Linvala in for sure. Take out Huntmaster. Um, disenchant. The only thing we saw to disenchant was Sylvan Library, and well, good. We have so many good. Like we have Dragonlord Target, Primeval Titan, Scarab God. Walking Ballista is great against them, I'm sure. We have Kaya, Mizium Mortar is overloaded. Like I feel like we we have the deck like that can do well against this deck, but it doesn't work when it when you don't draw six lands. <laughs> so 
Is that where all our money's going? I'll go yell in the YouTube comments. Oh boy. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, a two lander. <sighs> We're on the play. You guys tell me if I ship it or mullet. I, I can't make these decisions anymore. Does it stay or does it go? Ship it. This is part of the YouTube comments that unironically says you should have more lands to fix variants. Yeah, just go up to 18 lands in two segments. Mull, mull, mull. Okay. I like it. Keep. Uh, we're going to ship Oko because we have no blue source. But Oko is so strong, they say. I know. Oh, they went to five? All right. Feeling better. Uh, let's get a green. Probably getting... What's a double double card? Double green, probably. So we probably just want a Savannah. Unfortunately, we don't have Hollow Fountain or Tundra here. Otherwise, I would have kept the Oko. Hmm. I actually don't think I want to play Walking Ballista here. I think it's just better on two. But they didn't play a Mana Dork here, so... Play Sylvan Library. Gruel Signet? I'll still kill that. Yeah, definitely want the, the double green here. So... And also want to white for Linvala. So we're definitely getting a white source. The question is, do we want a second red? No, because we have no double red cards. We do have double green cards in Primeval and Whisperwood. So Temple Garden it is. That's pretty good. That's actually a second <clears throat> second white source, which is perfect. Watch this video on a channel with years of magic content. Did this guy actually play? Buddy, <laughs> you ain't kidding. Is this where they Wrath of God slash Day of Judgment against our deck where they saw like two creatures? In, the, in a deck that has a million creatures? No. <laughs> hey, look who it is. It's your buddy. To be clear, we have drawn Oko significantly more times than we have drawn Primeval Titan or Golos. And both of those cards that help us cast the Oko. So, just a little fun fact. I think we drew Golos once. It got Rakdos returned. We drew Primeval Titan no times. And we've drawn Oko like three times. You got it. That guy can't do anything. Are they trying to activate its kill walking ballista? Yes, they are. No, sir. No, no. Limvala's like, nah, brah. Chain lightning. That's just going to the face, I think. This is probably lethal, right? <clears throat> so this is three, this is three, this is three. That's nine. Sure, pump this guy. Put a one-on-one -on -one counter on it. One, two, three, four. Okay. They go to eight. This is three. This is three. Not lethal. That's okay. Next turn it will be. Linval is doing an angles work? Is that a geometry joke? I don't understand. Okay. So they're still dead, right? We just get the Linvala to them to five. We get to chain lightning them. We get to walking bliss to them. Spelling is not my strong suit. <laughs> See, that's funny. Oh, it has reach. I am not a smart person. See, this is how we die. They reach up to it. And they... They might just gain life here, actually. Yeah, okay. 
So we are gonna go shooty shooty. Two, three, four. All right. <clears throat> so if we attacked with everything, they would have taken three. No, well, four, five, six. They would have gone down to five. We could have shot them and killed them. Yeah, we should have attacked with everything. I see. Well, this is life now. So close, yet so far. I think we, we definitely punted last turn, unfortunately. And then we got totally redeemed. God, thank Jesus. It swung, it swung our way one time. Oh god, they're going to mana tie this. Oh, we just, we just win. <laughs> got him. Sorry, I, I just think... Oh, that's wrong. Hey, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. All right, <clears throat> so, um, Disenchant? What did they have there? They had Elspeth, which is a real shit pickle. I think we're just submitting like this. What about Grandpa Wow? He's still in the bank? Wow! Buddy, you know it. All right, let's try. You know what? Primeval Titan, snap it off. No blue source. That's okay. We got every other color of the rainbow. We're going to get Temple Garden with Marsh Flats because I think we want the, the option. Don't do it to me. We want the option to have a second green with this. Dude, I'm telling you, one blue or green land attached to a friggin' attached to a friggin blue source would be would literally put this deck over the top oh it shows up yep again but this time they're like oh but you complain about primeval titan too you stupid idiot here's your primeval titan i feel like Mizium Warriors kills most things they can play here other than a Garrick. Yeah, that guy's fine. See, we can kill that thing. <clears throat> Ideally, we draw a Signet. That would be sweet. Then we can go Signet into Mizium Warriors into Primeval Titan next turn. That's not a Signet, but that's okay. Next turn, we can still Walking Ballista. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Does make our walking ballista worse, but makes it a lot worse. Um, we still have Atarka though. Like Primeval Titan into Atarka, we just have to take a hit for a turn. And even if we get the lands here, we still have it. Still helps us with Atarka and Oko, so that's pretty cool. I don't think we have any incentive to play this as a two-two right now. Playing Lenvala against this is weird because they literally only saw Walking Ballista with an activated ability, I think. Yeah. Uh, Golos, I guess, but they didn't see Golos or Scarab God, as far as I know. So that's weird. I guess they're literally just afraid of Walking Ballista. Well, we're going to play Primeval Titan next turn, so, you know. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, and now they get to kill Primeval Titan, but we get to Dragon Lord turn after that, so. You know, that's a thing, I guess. I'm gonna just get a Bayou here. Oh, the blue source. The coveted blue source. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we got Dragon Lord of Target coming down next turn. Theoretically, let's get a Raging Ravine and I think a Steam Vents. We want a second blue source. No. <laughs> so they're going to negative this, put her to two. Then we can go shoot, shoot, shoot. That's what I presume they're going to do anyway. Or they're just going to kill it with a card in their hand, I guess. That's an also a thing they can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have two mana left over. We can walking bliss, though. That's not exciting, but... Okay, so things are going according to plan. They have two cards in hand. We are at five. It's not ideal. Sylvan Library is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. I wish we had one more mana. I mean, we just have to Dragon Lord of Tarka here. One, two, three. Oh, we actually get to kill all their things. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, we're just playing this guy. We want to get another body on the board. Even though it doesn't do anything. Many fire. Do the fire. <laughs> yes. I mean, Night of Autumn getting us four and Oko turning this into nothing. I got to say thank you. I love your content and it inspired me to stream. I didn't expect it to go anywhere, but I haven't. I have earned some subs and have budding community of my own. I love this community and can only hope to foster a similar. Yeah, Tigernate, didn't you mention you were streaming in the Discord? That's awesome, man. I'm really glad to hear it. That's a super sweet compliment. And I'm really, really glad you're enjoying it. One of the things people like, it, you know, people are, are frequently are like, what do, you, what do you recommend to new streamers, people who want to stream? And my biggest recommendation is don't do it if you're solely looking to like, profit off of it or do it for a living like don't you have to go into it like just enjoying it and doing it for fun and if that snowballs into a you know something profitable that's great but oh no oh no we get to night of autumn that and get our dragon lord back so long as they don't have giant growth here or a way to deal us two damage in their green deck I mean I kind of want to get rid of Sylvan Library I'll be honest so we can go Flame Tongue Kavu kill this Knight of Autumn get rid of Sylvan Library I feel like we have to get rid of that or else they just kind of kill us with it Like, it's just so good. And, like, Oko is very, very good against creatures, and it also should gain us a bunch of life with food tokens. So... We could get a target back with the with yes, but we don't want to we don't want to leave Sylvan Library on board. It's just terrible for that for us. It gives them such inevitability. Yeah, this is actually just fine. We get to put a counter on Walking Ballista, shoot the Llanowar Elf, and then also turn this into a thing. Pro Dragons, let's be careful about that. So we're going to go 3-3. Three, three. And I think we just want to put a counter on this. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Ballista. Um, I don't think we want to let them untap and have an extra mana. Like, it's the difference between like crater hoofing and not crater hoofing. I don't know if that makes a difference, but... Like, next turn we can Nahiri get rid of Oblivion Ring. We're not going to play Nahiri this turn, because that would probably kill us. It's not Pro Dragon now, right? 
but yeah so now we're just gonna do it we're gonna nahiri we're gonna kill the oblivion ring and then we're gonna kill both their creatures and smash their face Yeah, so actually I think it might have been... I, f I forgot that like we can Atarka first, or uh, Oko first, before we get the Atarka out. Um, yeah, I mean... I like that. So we want one, two, three, four, and the white... And we still have white red for Nahiri. So we'll see what we hit with Omnath. Is it a land? It is a scarab god. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. I want to be honest, Scarab God might even be better here. We have double blue and double black. create a food token I mean I think Scarab God wins us the game if we <laughs> like we don't need this right now and we're not getting a ton of value off the trigger I think there's very few cards that can kill us right now okay well there are no cards that can kill us right now <laughs> we are immortal all right, well, let's see if the 2-1 the is within our grasp. But, I mean, a lot of times people are like, you should have drafted a tighter deck, and I'm like, I'm not here for that. Like, I, I am here to have fun. I am here to draft more obscure strategies. But I'm not upset that my obscure strategies lose. I'm upset that I lose to the opponent having, like, significantly timely cards. Does that make sense? Like, just because my deck is not optimum and it's not like tier one tinker into blight steel turn two every game just because it doesn't do that doesn't mean the opponent should have rakdos return every time i have three cards in hand and they get rid of them all like right like that's like obviously and also the yeah the lack of general land drops and also like i would have been able to keep the scarab god if it like if the if the um if like things went on the stack differently, right? But since like it's their it's their turn, their active player, their ability goes on the stack first, then ours goes on top. Scarab God resolves, goes into the hand. Memory draw makes us discard it. If it goes the other way, memory draw makes us discard the hand. Scarab God goes into our hand. So, but that is the way look cookie crumb crumbles. I will play first. Let's see, again, like five drop, five drop, six drop, three drop, we can't cast two lands. I'm just not keeping two land hands. I will, however, keep this hand. Easy, easy pitch of mountain here. Keep mountain done. They went to six two. All right. But that was the YouTube comments' favorite mountain. I can't believe you pitched mountain. Hopefully Kai is good here. Who knows? Are you guys talking about YouTube Mountain Gate? <laughs> I 
That's awesome. <laughs> Out of respect, I won't stream spite snipe scouts honor, but I'd love to watch that after everything is said and done. Huge fan. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we can't insult our opponent this round because they're going to watch and they're going to know that I, I said all kinds of terrible things against them. So uh, make sure that I don't shit talk Big Z, okay? Because that would be really sad. I'm pretty sure we're just walking ballista killing this thing. That's what I'm feeling like. Because this card is so good. Have you guys ever cast a Devoted Druid? And then ramped into five and then killed your opponent's thing with an acidic slime on turn three? It's not fun. Okay. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Ozov Usurper. More like Orzov you Slurper, am I right? Ooh, Guy's Cradle, not ideal when you have no creatures out. Oof. There's a big oof coming through. One, two, three, four. All right, we're going to be raging. Raging Cajun. Okay, so the question is... I don't think it's worth... I don't think it's worth exiling our Walking Ballista because we do have Scarab God. So I'm actually just going to plus with no... <laughs> nice guy is Cradle, nerd. Big Z, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for them to say that. I can't control them. Cultivate's good. Now I get to see if there's any secondary colors. There is a swamp. Okay. All right. We have a game. So we have green, green, green. Red, red. Blue, white. I think we want a second white. And I like a second red that's not attached to Gruul Signet. Oh, Assassin's Trophy. One, two, three, four... Do we play land this turn? Not yet, right? So we can actually keep Assassin's Trophy up. That seems good. Look how fat this ravine is, man. That thing is raging. Oh, to be fair, Mark said nice guy is Cradle. I don't, I don't know what a Cradle is, but I, I don't think he was referring to this card because that's a Cradle, so... Ask Big Z is the Z for Zeke. What is that from? How many cards we got? Two? It's all... Control number of cards that player owns in exile. So it's two. She deals two damage right now. Seems good. Oh, Rofi... Rofi Bofi. Into... Some kind of shenanigans. Sword. Cannot equip here. Okay. I think we're keeping... Oh. Oof. Oh, boy. One, two... Uh, we want this and this. We want a green source here. Red and this. Activate your boy. Yeah. So much damage. So we can swords here. It's funny because swords actually gives us... I mean, we're definitely swordsing this guy now. I do not want you to untap and have a million mana, so.
and I don't want to hit our graveyard. That doesn't seem good at all, so. Kaya getting fat. Not doing anything, but getting fat, you know? So that's pretty good. That is a good one. If we kill this land, they actually don't get it. They don't, they can't activate cradle and we get to nug them for a million. Oh, they get a land out of it. They just get a regular forest. I think that's fine though, right? What's better? They untap this. They tap this for one. I think this is actually fine. I actually want to be able to ultimate Kaya next turn, so we're gonna I'm gonna decline to let to let all this nonsense happen. How are we doing on red? We got a red? Got a green? It's definitely a second green source. It's either Taiga or Let's just go with Taiga. So they get a land here, but their their guy's cradle's turned off, so they literally just get either Two mana from up, they could just get a blue source. Oh, they thought they could tap something for two because of Cradle. That should be game, yeah. <laughs> so we get to attack with Raging Green for seven. And we have Kaya to get like a million damage. Okay, well. Hmm, hidden cards. There's nothing hidden there, why would you lie about that? The next turn, Ravine kills them. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that. Um, so I do. I do like uh, sort of body and mind. What was the? Do they have anything else? Cultivate Rafellos. I could see bringing in Disenchant, but I, I never want to bring in. I rarely want to bring in Tithe against the green decks. I actually like this hand a lot. Chain Lightning kills an early thing. We have the colors for Knight of Autumn and Omnath. We just need a second red source or a second blue source. This hand seems really sweet. Oof. Kermit <laughs> told you to tithe. You should have tithed. It's true. When Karwa tells you to tithe, you tithe. Everybody knows that. Oh, wow, we can play Oko if we draw it. Oh, man, they took five damage from their lands already? Ooh, Devoted Druid was kind of what I was hoping not to see. Mizium Mortars. Blue Source. Okay. Man, this is good. We just have to hope they don't kill it here. Kill it, kill us. Kill it with the turn that they're going to have. Oh, fuck. It's like a five. It's going to be a Nissa. It's friggin' turn two Nissa. Turn three Nissa. Oh, God. <clears throat> okay. That's not nearly as bad. You're going to draw a forest. I don't know why you, I don't know why you played this untapped or why you untapped this twice. Like, that's a... So you could have done one of these two things um we're gonna play scrubland and then we're gonna kill this guy so we know they're drawing forest and they have two cards in hand so that's not super exciting they've also uh they can't play a six drop now because they used this twice last turn which they didn't have to because this was untapped Oh boy. Yep. That is a good one. Always a good one. Can't hear it because it's a land. Or that it's, you know, it has vigilance rather. That's what I meant to say, but. 
blue. We need another red. One, two, three, four. Yep. I mean, ideally, we get a fetch land, and then Nahiri, and then we can cycle and a green mana tide. <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, I, I, one thing I feel like green lacks is counter spells, because they really have everything: card draw, big threats, removal. I, I think one of the things they lack is counter spells, so you might as well just give them counter spells, you know? Like a summer's something or other. <laughs> yeah, you know, totally, totally reasonable. Okay, no attacks. Oh baby. Nahiri doesn't do anything here, but Scarab God does. One, two, three, four, five. Scarabini. They have no cards in hand, so they're definitely playing off the top, which is nice. We can get back Corsair or Elves of Deep Shadow. I mean, we do want a way to deal with Nissa here, but we don't have one. It's really frustrating. I'm frustrated. I'm not having a good time. Uh, Green, green, blue. Okay. Yeah, that seems good. Exile a tapped artifact. Okay. Yep, that's that's also good. That was a solid top deck, I think. That was probably one of the better, one of the better top decks you could... Except it's a 4-4 black zombie. Instead, or in addition, is it gold or is it just black? Really, really, really want it to be just black right now. Oh boy, this is... So let's see, what can I block it with? Pro green, green, green. Okay, pro blue, blue, blue. Okay, sounds good. I guess you'll just mill us for 10. The possibility of mill things is actually pretty decent, but we... Dragon Lord of Tarka... Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunately, it is only a, a four four, not a seven seven, so oh. this is what this is is this what it's like to live the dream? So one, two, three, four. Okay. I like it. Um, we're going to get them back before, uh, black, blue, three, four, one, uh, two, three on you. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, there's gutter roll response. There's also vexing shusher, which is a good, a good creature that likes to counter some spells. Okay, so what did they play? They played an island, and I assume the forest went into play. Is this? Black? Can I block it? I don't think so. We're just going to swords it anyway. Like, the last thing I want to do is block it with a Dragon Lord Atarka, have my Atarka die, not be able to kill her Nissa. You know, it's just a whole to do. I do like scrying, though. Oh, what up, Shaker of Milks? Yeah, you're going on the bottom for sure. It's okay, I drew your friend Marsh Flats, which actually isn't terrible with an Omnath. That's a free Nissa, right? Do we have a way to put one land on the battlefield? Oh my god. Let's get a black source. Hmm. 
Oh, man. If we can put one more land, we just get to wipe their board. Oh, God. Can you imagine? Devoted Druid, Corsair, Elves, or Huntmaster. We'll play Nahiri for free. Discard a card with Nahiri. Yes. White, white. Get rid of red. Oko. <laughs> Fucking Oko is so ridiculous, dude. One, two, three, and then we still get to keep up. Red and green. And we still get to keep up friggin'. Shut up and take my money. Corso doesn't give you an extra land, no. Beast in 16, yo, you're awesome, dude. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what a hero. What an absolute friggin' Wow, dude. I love you. <laughs> so much. So grateful. Thank you so much, dude. Really, really appreciate it. Let's attack Nissa, who's shakers of the milks. They're in top deck mode, which is very, very good for us. We're at 21. We have lots of things that can... I'm just like... I really want to make sure we don't have something that can put a land into play, because that would wipe their entire board. Just activate again. Huntmaster devoted your Corsair Elves. No. Yeah, I think we just pass here. Keep up Scrabble God. I mean, stealing their Corsair seems good. Huntmaster's good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Something bad's happening. I see. That's actually not terrible. I mean, we can... It's manageable. We have Oko, so... We have a lot of creatures. We can block four of them? Do they have to send everything at Oko right now? Because that's... That's a lot. That's a lot, mate. Ooh, they did not. Okay. I think we're getting Huntmaster here. Actually, Corsair just has to be better, right? It just gives us more access to lands. And also, us making 4-4s four when they have mostly 3-3s three is pretty good. Walking Brolista. Does Kaya do anything? Kaya just nugs their lands, right? Oh, non-land permanent. I lied to you. It does not do that at all. Kaya actually seems pretty bad here. I think we'll keep the Ballista. And then we'll draw it. And then we'll hit a land. Okay, so we're definitely killing Nissa here. And then we're going to turn Prime Time into a friggin... Gideon Jura. Sure. I mean, if they have cradle ho Crater Hoof somewhere, we're probably not... Long for this roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe it was better to switch this. I don't think we can actually. Exchange control of target artifact creature, you control and target creature and opponent controls. Yeah, you can only take their creatures. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Definitely discarding the planes here. So we can go one, two, three, four, play Gideon. So next time we can ultimate this, get Dragon Lord of Tarka. That's already on board. Not a thing. I just made that up. I mean, we're literally just hoping they don't have Crater Hoof and they don't top deck Crater Hoof. That's really the, the long and short of it.
Okay, going to combat immediately makes me feel good. Okay. Wait, did we not activate the Oko? What the f did we forget to activate Oko? <sighs> it's really bad. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that. That is incredibly bad. Wow. They're all just going face here, huh? How did I... Wow, there's just so much going on, I think, that it's like... That's hilarious. All right. Blocks. Let's double block prime time. Double block a three three, block a b, block a land, block a land. Having this in the graveyard is probably pretty good. So what do we take here? We take one two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven, and everything's going at face. Interesting. I kind of want to kill their lands instead. I don't know what they could have that would really make this worse for us. We're also taking out four lands and four creatures, so it's like eight mana for Cradle. With Cradle, rather, not four Cradle. It's only four mana for Cradle, but eight mana total. So they'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana after this. Still a lot, but... I don't think there's any like really good tricks in the format. Like combat tricks. Like This isn't a combat trick format. Oh, but they got something. Oh, good lord. What is happening right now? Oh, Jesus. Okay. I mean, that's fine. We know they're getting Whisperwood and something else. That's, that's good. But if we get prime time and hit a land... Oh, God. Vomit. This also presumes we have eight, four, two, two more lands in our deck, do we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have exactly two lands in our deck, so there's no situation where we can actually wipe their board with Omnath. Oh my god. Seems fine. They have still no cards in hand. We have eight cards in our library. I don't know what we're drawing right now. Johnny Vengeant. What do you do? I'm going to put this on the bottom. I'll put... So Johnny, do we even care about a freaking Johnny Vengeant? Like, I'm not missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are two lands in our deck. I don't care about a Johnny Vengeant. I didn't want that. <laughs> it's like I, I wanted a Primeval Titan. Still got to put two lands into play, which gives us a lot of mana to work with. Do we have anything that shuffles lands back? Holy crap. Change control of target artifact creature, you control target creature with power three or less. We can steal the Golos. And unfortunately, Oko would be at two, but now he's not. Uh, so one, two, three. Black, blue. So we need to use this guy. One land. 
the saddest one land ever. We really got to win with this. And we'll play another land. Gain the four mana. Uh, use a black of it to get Knight of Autumn back. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. I think it's probably Golos. They don't have a way to activate Golos. Yeah, we want Golos in the graveyard so we can get him back. Kill Fallen Shinobi here. Um... We have enough knight allies that I don't really care about the sword right now. One, two, three, four. Done. Yeah, we're just going to make this guy an elk. We can't. We're going to make the sword an elk. Because now we can't make the Whisperwood an elk. Okay, so we're going to attack with this guy, and that's probably it. And we definitely have four turns to kill them with this Dragonlord of Tarka, and they have to be able to deal with it. We have no lands in our deck, so it's all just gas. Let's make sure we've activated every Planeswalker. I'm pretty sure we have. Exiled. Elk, yep, all right. <laughs> also, walking Ballista, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four... Put it to four. It's an extra... It's one fewer turns. This is stressful and I'm not even playing. Yeah, there's just so much going on. Oh, God. Did they hit the... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. What is happening? Oh, God. Is it Genesis Wave or... No, not Genesis Wave. Is it Gen It's either Green Sun Zenith or Finale, right? Oh, it's got to be Finale and we're fucking dead. Oh, that's not... Okay. It's not a Genesis... If they, it's Crater, if it's crater Hoof, we're also dead. But I don't know why I searched for 13. There's no green creature that costs more than 8. Eternal Witness. Okay. That's fine, because you can't cast that now for sure. Okay, that was actually great for us. Wow, I was that was whew, significantly better than it could have been. Okay, can we win this turn is the question. We really have to figure out. Oh, we also get this. Oh. Yeah, we just won. <laughs> okay. Uh, put on the bottom. Put on the top. Put on the top. And then put you on the very top. This is going to be... Oh, yeah. This is it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, yeah, you got it. It's a non-token creature, right? What? Oh, man. You manifested a time walk? That's bananas. Let's just emblem here. See what happens when everybody gets in there. I'm going to say no. Good games. Oh, yeah. That was wild. How much damage are you dealing? Oh, man. What a class act. Letting me actually deal the damage. Thank you guys for watching. Super Fritz. We never got to activate Golos, but the Planeswalkers did end up being... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know the word I'm looking for. I can't think of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Super Fritz, thank you so much for the support, as always, buddy. You are awesome. I really, really appreciate you. And... Uh,
if you guys want to support the channel, definitely consider donating to uh, twitch.tv slash Frank Report. Uh, you can use command donate to figure it out. And you can subscribe or follow. It's a great way to support a, a young a young up and coming uh, content creator. I've only been in the game for 10 years. This is my job. I need the help. I need all the help I can get. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time.